Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are here because you just watched the highlight and contour video, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe down below and go ahead and join the gym squad. If you have not seen any of my other videos, make sure you go back and check out the beginner makeup series, which is this entire series that we're doing to educate beginners with affordable products, so you guys can you know get into the makeup game start learning how to do makeup and this is just based off my experiences and me trial and error on myself i'm not a cosmetologist i'm not a makeup artist i just like makeup and i practice in it and i've gotten you know okay so um today's video i'm gonna do everything dealing with the eyes i'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible but first and foremost i think eyeshadows is very before we even get into that guys the first thing you need to do is learn what type of eye structure you have so i'm gonna zoom 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 nope zoom 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 out Ooh, hi girl. Zoom in. okay so this is the closest that i have y'all right now but i want to kind of educate you on the different eye shapes so if i can find a chart or something of different eye shapes i'll put it right here um but for me i have hooded eyes and basically what that means is i'm looking at the <laughs> viewfinder right now but what that means is when i open my eyes i'm losing like this entire midsection of lid space because when i open my eyes it's covered it's hooded by all of this flappy fold anyway so when you do your eyeshadow, it's going to be a little bit different than people who have just like open eyes where all of this still shows when their eye is open. So if you're a hooded eye beauty, this is the video for you. If you're not, you can still take tips and tricks from this. We're not doing anything too deep. We're just going to do a simple eyeshadow look. But I will link Alyssa Ashley's hooded eye video down below because that is one of the videos that really helped me learn how to do eyeshadow that fits my eyes so to get started i wanted to mention some eyeshadow palettes for you to try out i personally have not i've only purchased like one drugstore palette and it was for a video purpose i was doing a one brand makeup tutorial but on a day-to-day -day basis i do not use drugstore eyeshadows and that's just for the simple fact is that the way your eyeshadow is going to turn out is based on the quality of the eyeshadow itself so like if you just buy this cheap dollar store purple shadow no matter how skilled you are to like blend it out on your eyes it's not gonna look the same as if you have a high quality purple shadow that you you know saved up and spent your money on whatever and you blend it out so the quality is kind of more important when it comes to eyeshadow products so ColourPop is one of the more affordable brands that i used to purchase eyeshadows from they have the super shock shadows which you can kind of rub your finger in and just put it on your eye and go um, but this video i'm going to share with you one of the palettes that is more on the affordable end um, which is the rude cosmetics cs fantastic how we say this i got this from riley rose and i'm pretty sure it was twenty dollars and twenty dollars really isn't that bad another good option is morphe um i love morphe because for the most part they have decent quality products at a pretty much affordable range and so they have smaller palettes um if i can find some pictures of some smaller neutral tone palettes i'll put some right here um but those are like palettes you can try out when you're just getting into makeup because you really only need a transition shade <laughs> a lid shade and um like a crease shade um so you really only need like three shadows and really if we're getting technical or cheap <laughs> you can really just use the true complexion contour palette from black radiance so we're going to start off with this and if it's not like super in depth we'll use a eyeshadow palette but we're going to start with this because you should already have this in your makeup kit and then we're also going to use some of the brushes from the 
brushes and tools video so if you haven't watched that and you want to know what brushes i'm using you need to go watch that and i'll link it up here so first and foremost holding your brush the closer you hold the brush to the tip the more control you're gonna have over it the further out the more blend you're gonna have to it so a brush like this is a great eyeshadow but brush but it's kind of big when you're working in small spaces so i would use this as a transition shade and i would use the sculpt shade in the palette as my transition shade i don't know why that phrase is so hard to say so this all depends on what eye look you're going for we're going neutral because this is the beginner makeup series and if you're doing anything besides the neutral makeup in in you're considering yourself a beginner honey Congratulations, you're intermediate. <laughs> if you're using any other shade but something neutral, you are intermediate, you are no longer a beginner. Um, but we're gonna use the Sculpt shade and we're gonna put this as our transi transition color. So for me, because I have hooded eyes, I have more of an area to place this and it's gonna go in my hooded flappy fold area and just above. So when I open, you can still see this transition shade and i'll put a little chart up here of all the different areas of the eyes so you can see this is your lid space this is your crease um this is your brow bone this is your inner corner slash tear duct area your outer v area your lash line your lashes your lower lash line and your water line um so that's all the different areas kind of of your eye Again, I'm not a cosmetologist or a makeup artist, so you can't really tell that much difference with this shade, but it just adds a nice little tint. And usually your transition shade, you want it to be kind of close to your skin tone, but show up just a little bit more. So for brown skin girls, you want to use like a brown shade. Um, if you're Caucasian or lighter, you can use like a peach shade um or like orange like a light orange color so that's going to be our trans transition shade which you could just see a little bit of dimension coming into the eyes but it's not anything like super dramatic where it's like oh she has eyeshadow on it still looks very very natural and whatnot so from here we're going to deepen up the crease so we're going to take a smaller brush this is number eight from the bh cosmetics kit and we're going to go into that contour shade which is darker so when you take the darker shade you want to concentrate it in the outer v so i like kind of packing it on which means just pressing it in first before blending it out so we're going to concentrate this on the outer V side and again we want this to look natural so we're not going crazy and then you can drag it into the crease but since we're using a smaller brush that shade is not just going haywire it's not going everywhere it's just concentrated right here on the outer corner and into the crease And eyeshadow takes time. It's not gonna come overnight learning how to do eyeshadow. It's just gonna take time and practice. That's the only way you're gonna get better. And so I just went in with the bigger brush and just blended out the edges. So now we have a little bit more depth to the eye. Again, not a crazy eyeshadow look. If you're interested in more eyeshadow looks, let me know. That's definitely more on the expert side of things. <laughs> or not expert, intermediate side of things. And then from here, you're at liberty to do a lid shade, which you can, some people, I feel like it's a little bit old school, but if you just slap a shimmer shade like on your lid, which you can use the highlight shade in this palette if you want, and use like a flatter brush. So this is the number seven brush. And you can do like a shimmer shade on the lid just to add a little pizzazz. And that just adds a little shimmer. And for my hooded eye beauties, you don't, you can either keep your 
lid shade on the lid piece that's showing or you can take it all the way up to above your flappy fold and if you do that then you'll have to put your transition shade and everything up higher so it'll be up in here but since we're doing like a natural natural dealio we're gonna do it like this okay so now this obviously isn't anything crazy as far as eyeshadow because like i said this is a beginner series i really don't think you'll be getting if you're just getting into makeup eyeshadow shouldn't be like your top priority i mean well yeah i mean it can be but if you're trying to be a, an eyeshadow if you're trying to be an eyeshadow pro or something like that then that's like a different series i might need to create but this is just like a simple eyeshadow look that a beginner can do and you can do this every day you can switch up the colors on the lid if you're going out somewhere fancy and you have a different shimmer shade you could do that you can use your finger whatever but this is just a general neutral eyeshadow look also in this video i want to hit on eyeliner i'm not a huge eyeliner girl because as a hooded eye beauty i already don't have that much space to work with but if you want to do eyeshadow elf has a really good eyeliner and it's just a liquid black eyeliner and for those who are interested in doing, I don't even know if this has anything in it. For anyone interested in details on eyeliner, I'm gonna link Alyssa Ashley's eyeliner video for hooded eyes down below as well because she goes in depth about eyeliner. When it comes to eyeliner, I really think it's easier to use like a brush liner and you just wanna stay close to your lash line. And sometimes you can stretch out your lid so you can get really close. And do something like that. Um, but for eyeliner, you really want to take your time with it and you also want to practice it because you can very easily go left and wind up with like a super thick eyeliner when you didn't want to go super thick. So eyeliner is definitely one thing that you that you should practice. Okay, so like I said, eyeliner is really not my specialty and as you can see like this eye almost look lazy cuz they never really turn out the same, but eyeliner is really for like not for beginners in my opinion anyway so the next thing i like to do once you perfect your eyeliner i'm gonna show you guys how to apply falsies and really i'll link it's my ray ray's video down below because she did a really good one um and for me it's easiest by putting the lash glue directly on the lash line and sometimes it kind of serves as eyeliner so i'm just basically putting a brush on lash glue and I'm lining my lash line. And basically when you line your lash line, you wanna avoid getting it on your actual lashes. If you have an eyelash curler, you can reverse curl your lashes so they're out of the way, especially if you have super curly lashes. They kinda of straighten them out. And she goes over that in that video. So this is a lash curler. You can find it at TJ Maxx or anything like that. And it basically just bends your lashes. So you just want to do it upside down and that's going to straighten your lashes out so they're not in the way when you go to put your liner on. And then um, you don't want to take too long because when you put it directly on your lash line, it's ready pretty much for it to stick. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on and I like to use um, these tweezers which are eyelash application tweezers and you want to look down and place your lash on top of your lash line and then you want to place the middle and then place the inside and then you want to Push it up against that glue on every in every position. So 
So once you do that, um, you can like press, use the lash, uh, use the lash tweezers to tweeze, or not tweeze, but to squeeze your lashes with the fake lashes. You want to be careful that you don't get any of your lash skin in there because that's going to hurt. But you can also put your finger up under your lashes and kind of move the skin toward the lash line. And that's going to use any excess glue on your lash line and stick to the lashes and it's going to cover up that lash band. So now you really don't have any lash band showing. And then one last thing you want to do is use like a black eyeliner. And this is just an e.l.f. retractable, no budge retractable liner in black. And you'll do your waterline inside the eye. So that's going to like camouflage any space between your lash and the fake lash. And again, you can go back in and make sure these are together. And that's pretty much how you apply a lash. Now, if you have sensitive eyes, your eyes might water. You want to make sure you don't get that glue in your eye because it's really going to water and it's going to burn and stuff like that. But other than that, if you're using reusable lashes and you have like any white line of residue, you can just use a liquid eyeliner to get that off. You can use the liquid liner to cover it up before you even put the lash on. Okay, so what I want to mention about the lashes, if you're just getting into applying lashes, you're going to want to go with a lash that's going to be a thinner, like wispy lash, a thinner lash band. This is like your mink lashes, which I know are very popular and people like to wear, but it does have a thicker lash band at the top. So that's going to be harder for you to successfully place it on your lash where it needs to be if you're starting off. So I would start off with a thinner lash band lash. And you want ones that aren't like super cheap because sometimes like the 99 cent lashes, they just go straight across and you need them to be curved like this so they can fit your eye shape because it's gonna be harder if they're just straight across. So again, I'm gonna show you one more time, hopefully Y'all can see a little bit better. So we're just going to reverse curl our lashes. So they're a little bit straighter and out of the way. Then I'm going to take my duo lash glue. You can use clear. Um, I like using the clear one, but sometimes if I want to give an eyeliner effect, I like to use the black one. And I'm just going to line my lash line with the lash glue. Like so. So really, if you're using the black one, you don't really even have to add eyeliner because it's going to give you that same effect. Now, you can use regular tweezers, but this is kind of like an intermediate tool. I think the easiest way is to use um, the lash tweezers that I showed you guys. You can get those from Ulta. So I'm going to take my lash tweezers and kind of grip them in the center like this and I'm gonna look down and place the center of the lash in the center and then you can adjust and stick the inner corner and stick the outer corner And then I'm pushing, making sure the lash is gripped 
all the way across the lash line. And this sometimes requires you to be both handed. Now I'm just clasping my lashes with the fake lash. Pushing any excess skin down. And then we're gonna do the liner underneath. And then if you want to, you can recurl your lashes to kind of clump them with the fake lashes, but you don't want to do it too hard where you mess up the fake lash and how it's styled. So another thing you could do when it comes to lashes, we talked about the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, is your lower lash your lower lashes and your lower lashes aren't the easiest thing to do and you're not going to master it on the first try. But for a beginner, the easiest ways for you to make sure your lashes don't get on, you can use, this is just a paper that I found, but you can use like a paper underneath and like use your mascara on your lashes like that. Or you could just really take your time and just shimmy the brush on the lash hairs, not on the skin. So you want to use a very light hand. And do this. I have not mastered lower lash mascara, so this part is not tutorial like. That's basically everything you really need to know about the eyes as a beginner. Hopefully this was a little bit insightful. I know it wasn't super tutorial-esque, but I'm leaking some tutorials down below that can really help you because they help me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do we have any videos left? If you have watched this and you watched the rest of the beginner makeup series, sis, bro. You have successfully become a beginner at makeup, okay? What's on my lips is the Fenty Gloss Bomb, if anybody is going to ask. But we did it. We did it. We did it. Hey, now you see us. We did it. We'll give y'all, here's your certificate of completion of the Makeup Beginner Series course. And I hope you guys really learned something. I really, yes, we did everything. And I hope you are practicing. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. And I think that's it, y'all. It's been a long time coming, but we're here, okay? And we look good. This is all drugstore. This is all beginner and you can achieve it. So make sure, feel free to rewatch any of these videos while you're practicing your makeup. And that's really all I have, y'all. I love you so much. I hope this series helped. If y'all have any other ideas that y'all are interested in as beginners, please let me know in the comments. And that's all I have. I love y'all so much. And y'all never forget at the end of the day, without regrets, burp, burp, skirt, 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 pause. Have you subscribed? If you've watched this entire series and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe down below. Join the gym squad. That basically means you're joining a community of people who are committed to loving themselves authentically and living a positive life. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up if you learned anything from this video. If you learn one thing, just one thing, you have to give this video a thumbs up, like it, okay? And y'all, without further ado, y'all never forget at the end of the day, Without regrets, love yourself. And be you, Tiffle. Bye, guys. Congrats, we did it!